Welcome to Unilad Adventure. This week we're taking a look at some of the best things you can do in Romania. This episode will focus on Bucharest and Transylvania. Bucharest is such a beautiful city, with incredible architecture at every turn and an unbelievable mix of buildings from across many different eras. It's full of funky bars, including Karukuber, Bucharest's oldest brewery, with a stunning interior design and authentic food. There's also Lipsicani, which is filled with loads of great nightlife and surrounded by medieval streets. Macca Villa Crossi Passage is a picturesque passageway right in the centre of the old town, with a mix of bars, cafes and lots of places to enjoy shisha. Then there's the Palace of Parliament. It's the world's heaviest building and actually has eight storeys hidden underground. To this day, it's still not complete, but there are currently 400 rooms in use there. Bucharest culture is extremely diverse, with everything from jaw-dropping facades to unique street art. If you're looking for the more old town appeal, then you should check out Sigeshwara. It's full of beautiful cobbled streets with extremely colourful houses round every corner. Walking through this town feels like you've stepped right into a fairy tale. It's one of the best preserved medieval towns in Europe, and even has a spot on the UNESCO World Heritage List. Check out the historic clock tower and the idyllic square, which is filled with quaint restaurants. Sigeshwara was also the birthplace of Vlad the Impaler, who was the original inspiration for the tales of Dracula. You can go and see where he was born to learn more about him and the life he led. Brazov is the capital of Transylvania. Here you can visit the Piazza Svatlui. It's the heart of Brazov's medieval center and a great place to eat out. Head here in the morning and you'll practically have the whole place to yourself, but by night it's an entirely different story, as the square comes alive with bustling crowds and culture all around. You'll also find one of the narrowest streets in the world here. It's called Stratosfori if you're looking for it on Google. Then there's the Black Church. Although not black in colour, it's the largest Gothic church in Eastern Europe. and Catherine's Gate, which is the last medieval gate that's still around today. From Brazov, you can leave for one of Romania's best experiences, bear watching in the wild. You'll sit in a bear hide where you can watch these incredible animals from a safe but near enough distance. If seeing animals in the wild isn't for you, they also have Liberty Sanctuary, which is a place for rescued bears that have often come from the circus or being used for entertainment. They can no longer be released back into the wild and Liberty Bear Sanctuary gives them a really happy life where they're taken care of. Now let's talk about Romania's castles. There are plenty of them to see here, but some of our favorites include Bran Castle, where the legend of Dracula began. It sits on top of a 200 foot cliff in the middle of Transylvania. Vlad the Impaler is said to have made this castle his home and walking through the narrow corridors, you can really feel the history within these walls. There's also Pele's Castle, a fairy tale like Romanian palace that's one of the most intriguing castles in Europe. It's the former home of the Romanian royal family and is surrounded by breathtaking mountains and lush green hills. We didn't have time to explore the inside, but it's definitely worth visiting with each room decorated in a completely different style or theme. If you're going to Transylvania, you have to check out the Transfagration Road. It starts in Brazov and rises to a height of 2,134 meters. Twisting its way through the Romanian countryside, it's full of sharp hairpin turns and is one of the most exciting roads to drive along, with beautiful natural surroundings. On this road, you can also travel to Balia Lake. Nestled in the mountains, you'll find this stunning glacier lake. It's a great place to stop and take in the views, and you can even head to the restaurant for a nice warm soup as well. As far as authentic old towns go, we've already mentioned Sigeshwara, but if you have enough time to explore further, we recommend checking out the charming village of Viskiri. If you want to get a feel for rural Romania, this is the place to see. With unpaved roads, historic houses, and local animals roaming freely, horse and cart are still a standard form of transport, and many traditional jobs like blacksmithing are still an everyday thing here. It really is like stepping back in time. Finally, we recommend checking out Sibiu. 
On our trip, the weather wasn't on our side, but we promised this place is stunning in the sunshine. It sits at the foot of the Sindrel Mountains and is known for its houses with eyes. The window frames atop the tiled roofs always appear to be watching you as you walk through the aged streets of this quaint Romanian town. This is Liar's Bridge. According to legend, the bridge will collapse if you stand on it and say something that's untrue. Well, that's all we have time for this week, but thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop your recommendations for Romania in the comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more of the best travel tips and videos from around the world weekly.